All right, so we're back with another video for you guys, another reaction video. And today we're going to be talking about royalties, uh, two biggest haters, man, PJ and Jason. I really can't believe that uh, some of you guys sit here and listen to these channels, especially PJ. PJ is the absolute worst. This guy has no clue what he's talking about. Now he's saying that the uh, Durango that royalty has been posting on her IG story feed and... uh. And Rico's been posting about now he's saying that this car is a used Durango Hellcat and he says the last year they made it was 2021 this man doesn't even like fact check any of the information he puts out there he literally sits on here and speaks nonsense and you guys believe the nonsense and then Jason is saying that the car is a rental right this is crazy but let's let's start off with PJ let's listen to this uh this woman beater Next thing you know, she paint, showed another picture of the SRT. It's not a red eye, but I mean, it's a, it's a Hellcat. It's a Hellcat part of the Hellcat series. They don't make Durangos anymore, so I, don't, I would assume this is maybe a 21 or 22. You know, because they don't make them in 20, they didn't make them in 2023. He says they didn't make it in 2023. Like, this dude is so lazy. All he does is back to back videos. Um, you can tell he wears the same outfit in like three, four videos in a row. All right. And the only video that gets views is the one on royalty. Like I said, there's a whole bunch of psychologically brainwashed idiots, slow brained idiots that follow this guy, PJ. And like I said, I'm going to stay on top of this, man. We're going to keep dropping videos because we can't let these clowns, especially this woman beater. Right. And don't worry, man. We're going to jump to the police report about this clown in just a sec but i'm on dodge.com man like y'all are y'all slow or something like that what is wrong with you guys you're, get, you're getting your information from this clown this is not even a hard-working man his woman actually does all the work this man sits at home like a house bitch all right this man doesn't know what he's talking about just go to dodge.com dodge.com look at this srt hellcat srt hellcat plus srt hellcat premium like come on man like wake the fuck up what is wrong with you guys wake up <laughs> now you're getting back oh that's funny but hey look i'm proud of you i ain't hating on you um next thing you know she paint, showed another picture of the srt it's not a red eye but i mean it's a it's a hellcat it's a Hellcat part of the Hellcat series. They don't make Durangos anymore. So I would, I would assume this is maybe a 21 or 22. You know, because they don't make them in 20. They didn't make them in 2023. So, I mean, if they did, I think that was it. I don't think they made anymore. I don't think they made any more because it would have been the last call. So, and I don't think they did that. So, it may Like, this dude is so lazy, he can't even go check the website. They're making these cars for 2023, 2024. Like, where does he get his information? Like, he just pulls this information out of his ass. All right, this... And I'm surprised there's 6,000 views on these videos that he be dropping. Like, it's got to be, like, slow brain idiots. These are, like, the people with the lowest IQ, low-skilled, dumb, stupid dumb. Like, you're telling me, like, half of you guys that watch his channel, his videos, you can't go to Dodge.com. You literally can't pull out your phone your computer and just go to dodge.com and see if this information is true are y'all really that stupid are y'all really that stupid pj's making you guys look this stupid are you guys really that stupid and then the other clown jason which we might talk about next if i have some time i don't want to make this video too long he says that this is a rental man so i went on turo because i'm in florida right now i don't really want to get into the details i'm moving one of my other properties to another property, but that's besides the point. So I looked up on Turo a car, a Durango Hellcat that kind of resembles the one that uh, uh, Rico or NWG Suave posted on his story feed. There's one for 400. You guys see this right here? Almost $500 a day. Like these, these guys sound stu stupid. So stupid. You're telling me, so you're saying that she has more money. If she's renting it, then that means she has a lot of money, idiot. Because if she leases it, it's about 2000 It doesn't matter how you cut it up. 
finance it, lease it, you're still talking about $2,000 a month. If you rent it by the day, it's $500 a day. So if she's renting it for 30 days, you do the math, man. Come on, man. Like, are y'all that really? Are y'all stupid or something? Like, what's wrong with you guys? Are you that stupid? It's crazy, man. And somehow this clown PJ has been getting notices that he has a balance. Look at this. Cleveland County District Court shows a balance of $3,400. Y'all getting like, y'all really think PJ knows what he's talking about? PJ's a house bitch. He just sits home all day. He has no job. Ask PJ what he's to do. What is his profession, man? This man is literally, he's dumbing down his own audience. Like, are y'all, I'm, tr I'm trying to understand this. Like, are y'all telling me y'all can't go to Dodge.com and verify if the information is true? I, I see all the comments. He's got like 200 comments. Oh, they stopped making it in 2021. In fact, they made it in 2019. It was the last one. It's like, y'all are like stupid, stupid idiots. It's, it's laughable. It's crazy. Like, he makes, boy, he just makes y'all look stupid. Maybe a 21, 22. But the red eye, she bought a brand new that year model. Uh, yeah. So where's all your cars? Where's your homes at? I have people talking about, I should have been spending Christmas with my kids. Instead, I'm making videos on royalty. All while making a video on royalty, not spending Christmas with their kids. Unless you don't got kids, but you got a bunch of kids in the background. Why you got all these kids over at your house, but you ain't got no kids? What are you doing, sir? This makes no sense. Something is up. Why do you have all... You're not cooking. You're not... Trust me, if you do... If it is... Yo, put that thing down, man. You, like, he's got, like, some kind of, like... Probably, like, ADD or something like that. He always has to hold some kind of toy. It's probably the toy that uh, his wife plays with. At your house... You don't have enough room in your house to have a family dinner. So why are these, why are these kids over your house, sir? Sounds like some kids been kidnapped, okay? I don't know if he's talking about me, but my house is way too big. His broke ass. In fact, his broke ass, his whole family couldn't even afford to buy the house I live in. All right. I have an entire studio in my home, all right, just dedicated to YouTube because uh, he, he doesn't know, all right, like, I don't sit here and make videos out of the kids' room, right? You always see his kids pulling in and out of his little green screen fake-ass room. Like, I got a whole room dedicated so I can do a tax write-off on it. But we're talking about an idiot here. I mean, if you got idiots following this guy that can't even go to Dodge.com and verify the information, then there's no point in even talking about anything more complicated than that. Like, this guy is really that stupid, um, and his followers are even dumber. And yes, he is a woman beater, man. I don't, this is ain't me, man. This isn't like information that's coming out of my ass, right? This is coming out of um, court documents, police. This man beat up Miss Shayla Suzanne Scooter, Scudder, whatever. All right. This one right here says, um, he pointed a pistol at Miss Shayla. So now I can see why he goes real hard for um for royalty. Uh for the purpose of threatening and intimidating her with the unlawful, malicious, felonious intent then and there on the part of said defendant to injure the said Shayla Suzanne Scooter physically or by mental or emotional intimidation it's like come on man like yeah i need you guys to sit here and read this word for word word for word this is who you guys are watching all these women and if you're too dumb or you can't read because i mean if you if you can't go to dodge.com and see for yourself that the car is still being made for 2023 and 2024 then i don't expect you to be smart enough to even read all the words in this paragraph or in this paragraph right here. But what you do need to understand is, and it's actually pretty obvious, all right, it's very, very obvious, is that we got two black men, right, attacking a black woman. 
two black men attacking a black woman, a single mother with five kids. I've seen a bunch of people leave this comment in the comment section. You can go check out the last video and see it numerous times. Numerous people left this comment and they're like, this is really bad for the culture, really bad for the community. Uh, and you guys don't see nothing wrong with it. Two black men attacking a single black woman with five kids. So you're telling me like if you're walking down the street and you see two black men attacking a black woman with five kids, you guys are going to just stand there and uh, clap for them because that's what you guys are doing. That's basically what you guys are doing online. You're just supporting PJ, who actually has a woman and has kids sit on here and attack women. And he's done it in the past. So this is like nothing new. This is nothing new. Maybe he's changed a little bit and his techniques, but this is nothing new. All right, you can see right here, like I said, for those of you guys that can read, you should read this. Like, you should literally read it from start to end. Um, but I'm going to jump around because there's one piece in here that's real real crazy. Um, so it's, which one is it? Not line one, not line two, not line three, but line four, all right, it starts off with involved in a dating relationship with the defendant by striking the said Shayla Suzanne in the head and abdomen with closed fists while the said Shayla Suzanne was pregnant and also kicked her in the abdomen while telling her, I don't want this baby, you fucking hoe. Is that is that like is that sinking into your head, man? Are you guys is this is this sinking into your head? You might need to read this a couple more times. Some of you guys might be slow. Um, like I said, if you can't go to Dodge.com and see for yourself that they made a car in 2023 and 2024 and you have to listen to PJ, then there's something really wrong with you. You really gotta go get checked up. Maybe you got to go to a doctor's office. Something's something's wrong with you, man. It's like it's crazy. Like we're in 2023. Well, we're about to hit 2024. So happy New Year's to anyone. I'm sure there's going to be people watching this video afterwards. But we really got people out here that have phones, smartphones and computers and can't even do some basic research. They're going to listen to this guy, make a fool of himself, talk about the cars, a rental. Oh, it's. Oh, they stopped making it in 2021, so it must be used. And I, I think he says it like in a joking way. So it seems like, oh, it's used, so therefore it's cheap. No, it's not, sir. Even if it was used, it's still expensive. The Hellcat Durango, it's still in high demand. But he doesn't know about cars because he doesn't drive these type of cars. In fact, he doesn't even have any type of cool car. He don't have a sports car. He don't have any kind of high-performance car. He has nothing. He drives like an old beat-up truck and sells turkey legs. And then makes bummy-ass videos online and has no real profession, no real skilled background, no background at all. Like, what does PJ do? Come on, get in the comment section, all his loyal uh, fans, idiots. What exactly does PJ do? What is his profession? What is his background? Other than sit home and be the housewife. His wife or his girlfriend his partner shout out to her man because she's actually put it in work man she actually has to go up and go to work every single day to bring the food on the table for this clown man i don't even know why she's with him man she probably doesn't even like i can't imagine like they actually have any type of love because he gets on live like around 1 a.m so he's probably getting love somewhere else man you know them open relationships and shit like that. Cause I'm like, why is this man live at 1 a.m., 2 a.m. trying to talk to anti, whatever bullshit channel? It's like it's 1 a.m. Unless it's like, like I said, man, something ain't something ain't cooking right. But like I said, I need you guys to read this shit word for word. Cause people are like, oh, women beater. Yeah, this is this is court documents. All right. This is actually a police report. This is a district attorney. This was signed off by assistant district attorney. This isn't like some YouTube characters sitting here making up shit. No, this is real deal shit. Real deal shit. All right. 
like I said, I, w- I would start off in, uh, where, where was I? I was on line four, involved in a dating relationship with the defendant by striking the said Shayla Suzanne in the head and abdomen with closed fists while said Shayla Suzanne was pregnant. Also kicked her in the abdomen while telling her, I don't want this baby, you fucking hoe. So now I can I can see where the energy is coming from for for royalty. Um, but y'all also mad y'all gotta look at my house. This house is crap. I got one note. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Y'all know that. His house is crap. That's why he doesn't live there. He lives at his woman's house. His house is plain crap. It's like a one floor single story basically crap kind of like honestly kind of reminds me of uh mama so cool's house it looks like a halfway house like a drug rehab house some some shit like that man it look like it look crazy i I can pj i know why you're you're at your uh woman's house man but like i said like this dude is a bum he just sits on here and acts like he knows it all. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He pulls shit out of his ass. Like, I just showed you the like the simplest thing. Like, I can literally make videos tearing up his, his videos. All right, this man has no clue what he's talking about. He literally just told you, oh, they made this car. The last year was 21 and 2022. Oh, they don't have a last call. Idiot, do you have a fucking car? Have you had a Hellcat, idiot? Have you had any kind of sports car? Have you had any kind of supercar? Do you even know what a supercar is? Do you know, like, what what is you do- what are you talking about? This man doesn't have any cars. You should not be talking about shit you don't know anything about. That's like if somebody that does, that does like, engineering and suddenly he's talking about medicine. Like, you don't know shit about medicine, don't talk about medicine. If you don't know anything about engineering, don't talk about engineering. You don't know shit about cars. Don't sit there, oh, well, the last year was 2021. Have you actually checked the fucking website, you idiot? Hello, me. Hello, girl. <laughs> yeah. I want to throw that in there, but I don't even have it. But, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Y'all remember this? This is royalty. <laughs> royalty dancing around. <laughs> the fact that she got a car repossessed, okay? Listen, man. Y'all, y'all. Half of his videos is trash. Like, What he does is, like, the first half of the video is the real, like, it's probably, like, a a good, it's a good amount of information being given, right? It depends on what you consider good, right? But it's actually, you get to listen to him talk. The second half is him bullshitting. Like, he just kind of, like, drags the video into a 30-minute video, but he drags it with all bullshit. Like, right now, you're going to hear nothing but bullshit. You're going to hear him, like, skip around. Uh, play with the thing because he's probably got ADD or something like there's something wrong with him. I talk about y'all winning, y'all booked and busy, y'all this, y'all that. Man, that's fine. I mean, you you lost the battle. You lost the battle. But why are y'all more mad than royalty? Royalty not even mad. She not even saying nothing. She moving in silence. She moving in disguise. Creeping through the house in disguise. Come on, man. He took an L. Royalty Nation took an L. And then, all day yesterday, y'all... Bro, what is he talking about? She's taking an L. She's driving a Durango uh, Hellcat. What are you talking about? What do you drive? You drive like an old bummy-ass truck. You sell turkey legs out of a bummy-ass food truck. You sit at home all day long making these goofy videos... And the only ones that get clicks and views is the ones on royalty. So without royalty, you ain't you ain't paying bills. He ain't paying bills, and he's probably not even bringing. He's probably bringing in probably like two thousand dollars a month. Like if if he lives where I live, because he keeps talking about where I live, like two thousand dollars, bro. That's not even like that's not even that would even pay like that would even pay my insurance for a month. Like, I got the platinum plan from Blue Blue Cross Blue Shield. All right, zero deductible, zero uh, coinsurance. Like, it's literally, I don't pay anything out of pocket. And that one's, like, close to, like, $1,600 a month. That's, like, literally what this guy makes. Like, I'm not sitting here bragging. Like, this dude 
what he talks about people taking L's all day long. Like, what do you, dude, you don't even have anything special, unique about you. You're a dirtbag. Your woman takes care of everything. Imagine this. How do you guys consider this a man? Like, how do you even classify this as a man? This man literally sits home all day making lame-ass YouTube videos attacking a single black woman with five kids while his woman is out here really working. He don't have a real job. Selling turkey legs ain't a real job. Especially not now. That's like some bummy-ass shit. All right, so I don't get it, man. It's crazy. Explain the back. Jason, Jason made a video. <laughs> Dess ain't have to say nothing. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Anton ain't have to say nothing. Although we did. Um, Sunday, said a lot. But yesterday, we let y'all hold them L's <laughs> after that. Y'all held that L all the way to Jason's video came out. Y'all was fighting and scrambling for, you know, you know, y'all was just. Um, so you guys saw the witness list which you guys can go back and see it again. So this is, like I said, these are court documents. This isn't like some YouTube. This isn't like shit I pulled up. Like I didn't Photoshop it. I didn't use an AI or a chat GPT to write a script for you guys. No, this is, this guy is a woman beater. There's no, there's no question about it. Um, and he might not be a woman beater now, but he's definitely beating on royalty from YouTube. Scrambling, trying to get y'all, you know, clicks in and talking about, oh, yeah, we still booked and busy. They ain't nothing but felons are us. You know, they losers. We winning. They stay losing. Yo, if, if we talking about winning, and if, if, all right, so if we was a team and CJ's our captain and that's y'all's team and royalty's y'all captain, you get the correlation like, come on, man, CJ's winning. CJ's winning, but you're not winning, dumbass. Like, is this guy stupid or something like that? Woo. Bro, are you that stupid? CJ is winning, right? CJ lives comfortably, drives comfortably. He has a Lamborghini Urus, um, and I don't know what the other car he has, right? He doesn't really have... He downsized, like, he's broke as hell, right? But if you consider him, he's winning, he's winning. But you're not winning. You still sit at home, make these crappy videos... Nothing really changing about your life. You're not driving a Lamborghini Urus. You don't even, you probably never even driven any type of Lamborghini. Never driven any type of Ferrari. Never driven any type of supercar, sports car, high performance car. Nothing. Dude, you live on the back of women. So I can see why you attack women. Like without his woman right now in the picture, PJ would probably be on some Section 8 food stamp program, right? But he'll sit in here and attack royalty. But he needs royalty because royalty pays his, like, she probably brings him a good $2,000 a month. Maybe more than that. Alexi, you got Nike, Tavy, Kamari, the kids. You got the twins. He had a great dinner. Uh, Lexi made some concoction the other day. It looked delicious, like some type of meat. It was glazed and boiled and something. And it was just like, it just looked, I don't know, it was like a big piece of meat and it just looked tender. But shout out to them. That is this side. So whether you like it or not, that's a W. Now, on the other hand, your team captain, your team captain took a, a major loss in November didn't even mention it until December when she knew she was getting another vehicle. But it just so happened to come out that the last vehicle was repossessed. It came out right after she lied to y'all and told y'all as her royalty nation that the car was crashing total. So when she came out with that video that said her car, her car was crashing total, y'all ate it up. Y'all ate it up. Oh, man, that sucks. Somebody stole it. You know, it's always some haters. It was probably every day, PJ, how much he be hating on you. He probably took it. <laughs> well, if you want to call me Ally Bank. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> Ally Bank. Uh, Ma'am, <laughs> we've been trying to hit you up for your car's extended warranty. If your girl is so booked and busy, why she ain't pay her bills? Why, why she ain't pay her bills? Look. Instead of taking a repossession, you should have just traded it in. You should have just traded it in. 
PJ is turning into like her financial advisor, but he can't even he can't even use his own financial advice to uplift his life. He has to sit home all day. And and, and there's a difference cuz you know there's some goofy clowns. Oh, well, there's there's all these idiots that get in my comment section. Oh, well, I work from home because I got a six-figure business. I got a seven-figure business. That's not this not that's not this clown. PJ doesn't make seven figures sitting at home. PJ makes back to back to back videos. He wears the same outfit in like four or five videos. Every day he drops like four or five videos and he only does that to build up a pattern so then he can drop more content on royalty because the only content that gets views is the ones on royalty. Like you don't have to be like a a super analytical person to figure out his little game, right? PJ is a bum. He's a bum. He has no like there's nothing really all that special about him. Like, he just talks out of his ass. He knows most of the people that watch him are clueless, they're dumb, they're slow-brained idiots. And, like, I just used a basic example. I didn't even attack, I didn't even, like, react to have the other crap he talks about. I just reacted off something real simple, like just the car. A car, man. Like, all you guys had to do was go to Dodge.com and see for yourself. They still make the car. And I talked about it in the last video. I said the whole purpose of why the Durango Hellcat was such a mess is because when they first introduced it, it was supposed to be a numbered car with a limited production. And a lot of people bought into it and then they turned around and mass produced it. And uh, there's a class action lawsuit for it. This is why I stopped buying Dodge because Dodge is full of shit. Um, mostly American cars are like full of shit. They always say, oh, it's going to be a limited production, and they just mass produce the crap out of it. But PJ don't know shit about that. So this is why I said, y'all got to wake up. Stop listening to these goofies. They have no clue what they're talking about. They talk out of their ass. And he's kind of throwing shots. Bro, like, the only reason you get views is because I talked about it, dummy. Slow, man. This dude is slow as hell, and he's just making you guys even slower. And at the end of the day... What it looks like is real simple. Two black guys attacking a single black woman with five kids. So whether you want to chop it up however you want to chop it up, it still comes out looking like that. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section.